are we going to see the USMNT be successful with him? How how successful is he going to be? Is he going to do it with the players that are there? Is he going to try and develop? What, what, what do you see his impact on the USMNT being? So the most encouraging thing for me is his ability to win big games. Like in terms of, I think back to his time with Espanol and with Southampton where he had results with those teams who are clearly on paper worse teams than a lot of the bigger teams in those leagues. And he was still able to not only get results, but win big games. Like with Southampton, he had wins against Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea. Like that Southampton team on paper should be losing those games. And he was still able to get results. Espanol, same thing. He had wins against teams like Barcelona. So that's encouraging to me because I feel like that's something the U.S. has been lacking for a long time, especially with Greg. We were just incapable of being able to get results against teams that are a step above us. You know, your your big teams in Europe, your your big two, I mean, I, big like four in South America that we just haven't been able to compete with and have always been a step behind. We haven't been able to close that gap and make that step forward. And I think Pochettino could do that for us because he has his history doing that. Whereas like Greg coming in, there wasn't really that on his CV. You know, like he coached an MLS, which has a lot more parity. There's not as many situations to be playing against teams that are, you know, a whole step ahead of you. Uh, and Greg played even more so, I would say, in a more parity driven league because he played an older MLS or sorry, he coached an older MLS, which I think was more even playing field than it is even now. Um, and then I think he was in like Finland or something, one of the Scandinavian countries and I don't think there was going to be a lot of situations there where it would be something similar to that as well. So that's the biggest takeaway. Like, that's my most exciting thing about him coming in. In terms of players, I definitely think there's going to be new faces getting involved in the team. I don't want to jump into point number two, but I think the way that he plays could result in J- jump around. new people. Jump around. Do, do what you got to do. We're going to blend it all together anyway. All right. So then I, I think... Pochettino has historically played a 4-2-3-1 high press. So I think if he's going to instill that with the USMNT as well, there's going to be definitely new players who haven't gotten a lot of, you know, face time with the team coming in and getting involved. And I think there's going to be even guys who have been getting involved, getting even more in the game time. So I think if he's going to go with a high press, someone like Brendan Aronson, who just has an infinite engine, is probably going to get more game time and, and get more opportunities because he, I think he fits a high press well, even though he's not necessary. he may not necessarily be getting the goals and assists that we want him to get. I don't think it's, I know everybody's like clamoring for John Brooks to get back in the team. I don't <laughs> think Poch coming in is going to all of a sudden open the door for guys like John Brooks. But I think if there's people that fit the system he likes to play, they can get more opportunities and surely we're going to see new faces get involved in the team. I don't think it's going to continue to be the same group of guys every single time. 